Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's Zebra Report. Today, we're talking about diets. Not a fun word. However, we need to all go on a media diet right now and be very careful what we are looking at, reading, listening to, watching on TV. I'm telling you right now, we got to go on a media diet because not all the media that you're watching and listening to is healthy or good for you, right? So too much sugar is not good, too much fat's not good, and too much of anything that is incorrect in its reporting is not good. And I'm gonna give you two very, very big examples. So today in the media, first thing, early morning, an article comes out talking about how interest rates are potentially going to hit 10%. So one news outlet took that story, and within half an hour, I saw two other ones. Within about 15 minutes of that second article coming out, what started to happen? I started to get emails and I even got two text messages from two of my favorite, favorite clients that said, please, can we talk urgent? I thought we were going to talk about an urgent deal, a transaction, a real estate crisis, but no, they want to talk about media. So first of all, you have to understand we're in the media, we're in the middle of an election year. This is a big election year. There's lots of news around this election and it, you cannot go anywhere without hearing both sides whining and complaining about each other. Now, the challenge of that is that housing is a big deal. So talk about housing and how if you elect this person or that person, that's going to change our interest rates. That's going to change housing affordability. Here's the reality. If you read something and you do not follow up yourself, and do the research to find out where the information is coming from and how accurate it is, the problem you're going to have is it's not going to be accurate and you're not going to know and you're gonna live fearfully and you're not gonna know for sure. Here's another great example. Recently, there was another article that said, sales in this area plummeted. So that headline kind of worries people because you're gonna think, why did sales plummet? Well, yes, yeah, sales plummet in that area because there is no inventory. If you don't have inventory, you don't have sales. In fact, the true side of the story was that particular area had robust sales uh, in the inventory that they had. So if you've only got five donuts to sell and you sell all five, your rate of absorption is 100%. But if you're used to selling 25 donuts and you only sell five, then it looks like, okay, sales have plummeted. But what's important is absorption. How quickly is the market absorbing the product that comes on the market? And that's why you got to look further than just the headlines. So you've got to look at the research. So I am just telling everybody right now, put yourself on a media diet. Really think about things like, where do I get my information? Who do I trust? And you should have some sources. For example, if I want to know something about new construction, I get my information from the National Association of Home Builders. They've got a fantastic source called the Eye on Housing. It keeps an eye on housing and lets you know everything. And it's always backed by accurate, factual data. If I want to know something about real estate, talk to your local association. Go to their meetings. Participate. Be a part of that. Also, a National Association of Realtors has got some great meaty sources. The Census Bureau is another incredible resource. Department of anything, think about that. Department of Labor is another one. I look at even Department of Energy when I'm looking at how are things changing within housing. Right now we're in the middle and I've just um, had to adopt the new energy code, right? I'm constantly looking at, even with the energy code, what's factual, what's right? Because the headlines, even around the energy code, scared most builders and developers that I know. Well, if you get past the headlines and get into the research, that's where you need to be. So put yourself, please, on a media diet. Really think about where am I going to get, what information do I want fed into me? And that has to be good information, accurate information, and it has to be non-hypey information. So you just got to go on that diet as hard as it is, but I'll tell you the benefits will be really rewarding. And I'll take away the fear that you have because in case you guys have noticed, we're in a very strong market. In fact, most markets, if I think of just Washington State, just we're going to keep it just regional for a second, just Washington State, almost every single 
county we look at is now moving back into a steroid market. Steroid market is defined as a market that you basically have less supply than you do demand. The demand is too strong. And that, of course, yes, we have the lack of inventory issue, but we have this demand issue. People want to buy. And just wait, when those interest rates come down, and they will, boy, are we going to see a lot of buyers come off of that fence that they've been sitting on. So get on that diet, guys. And don't worry, the market is strong.